Kandiga and Doba are two towns located in the Kasina Nankana West District and Kasina Nankana Municipality of the Upper East Region. They fall within the Borga area of the Church of Pentecost. The protracted dispute between the Doba and Kandiga communities over the years has been a matter of each community claiming ownership of a piece of land. This has resulted in recent violent clashes and wanton destruction of lives and properties. In 2020 alone, from March to December, about five significant and life-threatening clashes took place. The worsening safety and security of the Church of Pentecost in these communities made it imperative for the Executive Council of the Church with an advice from the Bulga Area Executive to, as a matter of agency, transfer the District Minister of Doba, whose local assemblies are directly embedded in these two communities in Navrungo. The Minister of Interior for Ghana by an executive instrument on Monday, 21st of December 2020, renewed a curfew imposed on the two towns and their environs in the Upper East region from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. A visit to the two communities revealed that about 10 local assemblies of the Church of Pentecost have been affected by the conflict. For fear of reprisal, some of the members have relocated to nearby serene communities and have abandoned their homes and now worshipping with assemblies of nearby districts such as Sumbrungu, Zogo and Navrongo. The few who remain have no place to stay nor food to eat as their homes have been bent down, farms destroyed and livestock killed. The Navrungo district pastor now oversees the church in the Doba district. This is a four-bedroom mission house put up to house the district pastor responsible for this area, Doba district. But it's unsafe for him to reside here and so he has been transferred. The building is here idle with no one to use it because of the conflict between these two towns. We're going to be speaking to the district's pastor for Navrungo who now takes care of this district even as we pray and hope that peace will come to this particular community. Currently, the current situation is calm, um, but uh, there is still fears on the ground because the disputed area where some of our members reside now they cannot stay dead. Most of them have moved uh, to this side. And then the others who belong to the other community, uh, they have also moved to uh, Sumburungu and Mirigu side uh, to also uh, reside there. And so currently uh, on the disputed land, church activities is not going on. It has affected the members very badly. Uh -huh. Some of the members, their houses have been burnt uh -huh. and uh, some because they have moved from where uh, they reside and are now uh, residing at other place, they are more or less like refugees. Uh -huh. So feeding and then other, those whose houses have been burnt, uh, their belongings and other things. So it is actually difficult. And I um, think at the recent classes that happened say, three weeks ago, even last month, it affected uh, two Sundays. Some of the locals could not attend uh, service um, because uh, they were closest to the disputed area. So if on our uh, tight record this and it is indicated though that those locals could not meet currently uh, this side you know there are two communities and then the disputed land is in the middle uh -huh. so this side there is peace uh -huh. it's only this side is yeah this side. yeah doba side, the, doba side. Okay. The, the conflict is between doba and kandiga communities uh -huh. so the doba side here uh, I think the churches here, unless maybe there is a classes and then those that are closer to the disputed land, they could not, cannot attend church. 
But uh, those who are this side closer to Navrongo and other, they attain service. I spoke to some members and officers of the church who came around on hearing that the Pen TV crew had arrived in Doba. Boha was see hain na hain na e na me se ntoko ni si ye nti na ye shi shi bibia nti sika wo de be hain dan no kura no eno nso asan akoye asem nti ama members ni bebre no e titi jeble wa na de dat ma mo pa opotira kura la katune che che la ngade la basa opokemi na hunzi asoro de de ho ye le mo opokemi hu eto enshi Pozuzotana <laughs> And you may say, and Timon Quasari, and only Chicurano, members no baby, no fear, if you feel no mercy, if you feel tea, only baby are on Betina. So, bad dying young as in Vianaza on Toga Crano, meet me a bass on Crano, a assam. Binum two free baby or more, caught Tina Kurufofro, and to Connecti is almost dying on Mandrian in a sick, must sign in to Connecti. And no cry, Chino. Ama, a woman, a canoe, Nayana, to me, and say, Saturdays, Miss Sunday, Nayana, Tacon, Eba, and Tayer programs, and to Oha, what it over who has said to Bobona, Omu George, and over there, Koya, sorry, members no crown whom, and that to me, but it's a best answer, Ayana, and to me, yas or Koha. When I have things like this, they all run away, especially the young ones. I moved with my team to Kandiga, close to the disputed land. It was a rather tense ride to the town, as myself and my crew could not tell exactly how the community folks would respond to our arrival at the conflict site. Entering the town, you could still see the presence of the military who have been stationed there to enforce the curfew and also maintain law and order. We got to Kandiga close to some of our local churches that have been closed down as a result of the conflict. Some of the church members who had first-hand experience with the conflict shared their predicaments. Mukro Sisia, oh, yeah, then quite sorry. Oh, yeah, then quaju, my sisia, baby, I better cry and assassin. Sanya, me, we any day. Eh, yet to me, yes, she, as I say, if you knew her better than me. Nature said, won't you feel crow better and work as Ukojuma? And tell you, some quala no quana, maybe or more, quite a nature say, yes, and me couldn't cry while John across, so it is a hazard. As I sent a community, quite knew her, but free honour, my back cross, Abahasi. Nature said, I mean, I'm sure I'm quala no war, baby, I made or more call some broom honour. 
na chese akola ba akoso ani mame awu aja no so so essence ni papa so so eni ho no munti ye na ye hyano so se se mi kunu so ni ha sai te me na me ye na me be ye na me se ni sika na o mo no be bia akola no mo de na cross akọ be girl ni mame ho essence kwen ni enya njo ye nti mi ntimi cross nkwa ja akola no ya me se ni sika bi kwi ani ma se ni sika Apostle Wilberforce in Kruma Jeman is the Bulga area head of the Church of Pentecost. He helped me understand the real situation and how bad the church has been affected. For now, the double side, the assembly, there are nine assemblies at the double side. They are operating. So it's just like half of the church, but 50% of the you know, church members is operating over there. Uh, but for the rest, no. A lot of them have scattered. They've gone to seek refuge elsewhere you know, in the nearby communities. But most of them who went out you now are fellowshipping with uh, the various districts where they find themselves. Yeah. So they are not lost, but they are just scattered. We've gotten the, the list of them from the various districts. You know that most of them are yeah, a huge number. So there are a few who have remained here and still we are looking at how best we can also get them integrated yeah, to the system. Mirigu district is not party to the conflict. However, the 12th of December 2020 devastating clashes extended to its fringes affecting four of its local assemblies with the houses of some of her members bent down completely by the assailants. Yeah. Zi <laughs> I <laughs> They're not prepared for the, the, the recent fight that came on. They were all deciding the people came and attacked them. They were not able to pick any of their food staff. And then they burn all their food staff and where they sleep. And the children, the small children, they have to send it to their relations who at Mirugu and the other area who the fight has not been affected. The husband said they have to send him far away uh, so that he will not, he is not strong enough to, to run when they come to attack. So that's why he has run to some place. And it's left when it is in the night, then they will sweep all the, the ashes away and then they sleep there. And then the following day, they get up and go. And then even now, even if they, food, they eat any food, they become like, like uh, have a tension to the heart attack because when they hear any sounds more, they become afraid. So they can't even eat, eat food properly. And then they're always sitting in tensions. And then those who are somehow able to withstand that, they are able to stand it, but all of them have moved to some areas. Mirigo District Pastor explains what the district did as an initial support for its members. By God's grace, we put it before all the members uh, concerning uh, some members that are residing here who have been affected. And then we were able to mobilize food items, rice, beans, granites that can sustain and support them for some time. And also we also organized, as a district, we organized uh, six bills of uh, used clothing so that we could uh, share to those people that have been affected. Uh, so uh, that is what we have done so far. Besides that, too, uh, the, the member Yao Abosariko, who was gunshot, you know, uh, was taken to Tamale Hospital. We visited him, and by God's grace, he's back. He's the one that you interviewed 
you know, at first. So we have also paid visit to the members to sort of uh, console with them what has happened to them. The church at Doba was drawn into the conflict as a result of three executives members occupying key positions in the Doba community as assemblyman, community youth leader and a royal from Doba chief's palace. Their chiefs are invariably at the forefront of the dispute. Apostle Nkrumah Ajiman explains further. Three of our elders who are the Doba side, you know, are community leaders. Yeah, and so one is an assemblyman who is an elder. Then another is a, the community youth leader who is an elder. And then one is also from the palace, a royal. And so these people normally move with the king or the chief. Yeah, so at one time when the, uh, that's what we are told, that when the Kandiga people were offering some communal labor at the Kandiga Junction, you know, trying to put up a police post, I think uh, the Doba chief, you know, heard of it and then went and uh, moved to that ground with the three officers and other people, other people, and then, you know, in order to tell them that they should follow due process. Even though it was not coming to stop them, but they should follow due process. And during you know, the uh, interaction at that time, you know, brought about the exchanges that someone was trying, you know, to film, to take uh, video show coverage of what the chief was saying. And one of the Doba people who went with the chief, you know, wanted to restrain that person, and that the whole thing escalated into the fight. There and then that has brought us to where we are now. This is the situation in the Doba district and the Kandiga township in the Boga area of the Church of Pentecost. Peace is indeed precious. From conflicts and disasters come death, destruction and displacement. The Church of Pentecost in the Boga area has and continue to suffer from conflicts in the region. May we as a church and as Christians in general pray for peace to reign in the world. Daniel Kwabna Mante reporting for Pen TV News.